Hi love, how are you doing? Yeah, just having a very busy day at the office. Yeah, where are you? Oh, okay, okay, you're home, alright? I'm getting ready. I'm actually confused. I don't even know which one's taking. Mm, the pink dress will be good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay, the red? I'm actually thinking of the blue. <laughs> yes. I think this one looks better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, in the house of this back. Who? In the house of this way. Ah, yes.
to my sister. You don't know who she's dead. What to do, my sister? So this is your plan. This is your plan. What are our, our schedules for today? I'll um, be meeting with you in the exam and today and that's all. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. For sure? Yes, sir. And you were even caught in the act. Clara, I did not kill my wife, Helen. Richard, how could you? She loved you. She was a friend and a sister. No matter what the problem was, you shouldn't have killed her! I cannot represent you. Yes. It will be a clash of interests. I think you should look for another lawyer that will believe your lies. But be rest assured that I will use the full force of my office to persecute you and send you to jail for the rest of your life. So that other women won't be victims. Clara, what are you talking about? You're a murderer and a wicked man. I can't believe I'm hearing such from you, honestly. Now may I ask you, what happened to innocent on the broken gate? <laughs> He's quoting the law for me. Don't worry, we shall see in court, you murderer. Clara. Yes? For a while, and you didn't even notice my presence. What do you want? Nothing. I just want to know how the visit with Uncle Richard went. That bastard. He's maintaining innocence. I don't think he did it. I've been going through his pictures. He doesn't look like a killer. Is he the only suspect here? Of course he did it. He was even caught in the act. And yes. He's the only suspect. I think they should investigate me. Maybe the real culprits will be found. Stop talking rubbish and get out of my office! 
I'm sorry, ma'am. Get out! I'm sorry. <laughs> Good afternoon. This is her news. Before we go into the news in details, let's quickly look at the headlines. Barrister Mrs. Helen Richard has been murdered and her husband Mr. Richard has been listed as a prime suspect. Chelsea beat its opponent in the just concluded Premier League. Now the news in details. Barrister Mrs. Helen Richard was murdered in her home and her husband, Mr. Richard, was listed as a prime suspect. The Commissioner of Police has given a press statement saying that the entire police force will not relent. Thank you so much. This is wonderful. I hope you like it. Wow. <laughs> You were surprised. Thank you so much. It's okay. I really it's okay. Yeah, and baby, I'll be completing my youth service in two weeks now. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, so I want to travel and see my people and also see my uncle and discuss with him so he can give me a job in his company. Okay. I think that's a good plan. Yeah. And I really hope you get a job. But, baby, what will happen to us? I mean, what if you stay? Stay, I would find a job for you. I promise I can do that. Okay? Baby, relax. Okay, you've done enough for me already. Eh? I need to go establish myself and be worthy of you. Okay? Don't worry. I'll be back. Okay? Okay. Well, these are nice. I love this. Hmm? Don't worry. <laughs> Make him marry. That's all for the news today. Until I come your way next time. For now, it is bye bye. I went to your shop. Your son just told me you went home. She's dead. Who is dead? The husband snatcher. After going through the case file of the accused person, Mr. Richards, and his late wife, Barrister Helen Richards, I hereby declare in this honorable court. The bail is hereby denied. And the case adjourned till Tuesday, 24th of July, 2018, for further continuation of trial. This is my stake on this case. Oh, <laughs> 
David is pressurizing me to accept someone else's crime, an offense I did not commit. She was my wife and she deserved justice. Now the bell has been denied, what do we do? Yeah, I think we have a way out now, find another way to go about it. I think I will be needing every bit of information about you. Your life, your marital life, your life with Helen, no matter how relevant or irrelevant it might seem to be, I need it. It will help you go to get one way in, opening up a fresh case, and it will set you free. I think I'm going to need it. So, it's a good program, so I'm going to drop it here. So, Mr. Richard, bro, I'm listening. Okay, um... Good day, madam. Good day. Can I give you a ride? Well, I'm not sure you're going my way, sorry. No, you don't have to be scared or startled or anything. Um, are you not the one I saw at GoFak Industries some minutes ago? Yes, I was there, but I didn't notice your presence. But I noticed you. Can I hop in? Let me take you to wherever you're going to. What? If you said so, okay. Thank you. Sorry. I've been searching for a job for months. Nothing is coming up. My uncle is not helping matters. I don't know what else to do. Richard, are you married? No. Girlfriend or fiancé? Nothing. Why do you ask? Um, nothing, but um, it's just that um, after telling me everything about yourself, your life history, and your work challenges, do not mention anyone special, like a girlfriend or you know, someone. Well, I'm still searching. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Well, I pray you find one. Amen. <laughs> so you're on the road, all sweaty. I was like, who is this so guy? <laughs> I was so tired. I was so tired. Job hunting. Going for one cup of with another, looking for jobs. I thought it was fine. Everything will be fine, okay? I promise you.
Yes, Chief. My niece Helen told me almost everything about you. Okay, Chief. Are you a Christian and when can you start the job? When I can start? Yes. Chief, I'm a Christian. I can start immediately. Oh, that is good. Yes. Very good. Hello? Yes, secretary. I'm sending a young man to you now. Give him the required uh, fast treatment. All right. Accept my congratulations. Thank you, sir. Um, you will go to my office now and meet my secretary. She knows what to do. Thank you so much. I expect you to be loyal and uh, diligent. Thank you. Thank you. What has been happening at work? Oh, very stressful. Working with Chief too. It is very difficult. I know. You don't need to tell me. He's my uncle. It's so difficult. But it's alright. <clears throat> that makes sense too. Which is what I signed for. I'm not complaining. <laughs> Knowing you has been awesome. Seriously. I'm glad I met you. It's been lonely till I met you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, actually, I was thinking of showing you this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your... What are you showing me? This. Whoa. Please. Show me. No, 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 Are you serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? Don't say no. Oh, Don't say no. Yes. Yes. Richard. <laughs> Expecting this. Oh, <laughs> oh, this is beautiful. So you know what to do for me? Finish your photo with the girl, okay? I'm going to be a mixer. <laughs> I can't eat the game. <laughs> so, so, barrister Clara Johnson, is that why you kill her? So that you take her place? I did not kill her. But your colleagues said you never liked her. That you're always envious of her. That's not true. Though we had our differences, but I will never do such a thing to Helen. I did not kill her. You are lying. But you know what? Barrister, you better start telling me every single thing you know about this. Because I'm going to make sure that you never go out on this country. I've got my eyes on you.
I don't know. I don't know. She just left my house after giving me the slap of my life. I just thought I should let you know. What her? What her? Love, I'm so sorry for you. I, I, I didn't know what came over me. I'm so sorry. Richard, why? I'm so sorry. Richard, why? Why did you have to do this to me? Why? Richard. Am I not good enough for you? Am I? Am I not good enough for you? Where have I gone wrong? I don't understand. Don't I satisfy you? Don't I? What have I done to deserve this? Richard, Clara is my friend! She is my friend! I don't deserve this. Let me out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh, please, if you don't have to leave, please. Mama, you're welcome. Thank you, my son. How is your health? I'm getting better. How are you? I'm a real manager now. I'm fine. Have you been able to contact your lawyer? Yes, I was able to talk to Barrister Donald. He promised to do something. He promised. He promised I'm going to the house. Are you sure? It's not the reason. I know, I know. Mama, welcome. Mama, 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 she came to see me. Mama, welcome. Mama, now my friend be this. I'm anything for the boys. Stop. They go, they go. I want to make a reason to your mama. You will your mama come. Mama, don't mind my guy. This is why you mama. Are you making any effort to leave this place? You? Twenty years a day, I know that I have remember that. Twenty years? Don't you help people? I'm mean, not we see at all. Okay, let me find something for you. This is my son. Okay, let's see. I think it's better. Oh, I don't I just pray that I said, Donald, we'll hurry up with the alignment. I need to leave here as soon as possible. Hey! What? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What are you doing? The only son I have. The only son. Mama, it's nothing easy. Especially for an offense you did not commit. I know. He's not a killer. He has not even killed a lizard in his life, please. So, after all I did for you and your son, he still went ahead and killed his wife, my niece. Okay? Jimmy's not the one I killed your niece, please. Jimmy's not my son. He's the only son I have lived with. I'm lying to die in the sun. So, so, who killed my niece? If your son is not a killer. Woman, leave my, leave my, leave me alone. Let me warn you for the last time. I have not started with him yet. By the time I finish with him, he will know that I am a dreaded liar. And no one steps on my toes and gets scot free. Nonsense.
So, where is she now? I, I don't know where she is. After I left Delta State, we kept in contact for a while and I lost my phone and her contacts. And I decided to close that chapter of my life and moved on. But I know where she used to live. I don't know if she still lives there. You see, if I were you, I would be truthful and say things the way they are. If you have necessary information, lay it off now to avoid rotting in jail, Mr. Richard. I will send my boy, Mr. Fran, the PM, hopefully to go to Delta State to commence with the investigations. Till I come here again. Yeah, madam, here are the items we found in your daughter's room. You can take a look. Let me see it. Yeah, here is calabash and pictures. Oh. Wait a minute. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, you have to follow us to the station for questioning. Please take her. Mr. Frank, please, how is the investigation going? Mr. Richard, you just have to put yourself together in this. Because Mr. David and I are working very hard to make sure that justice is served in this case. Yeah, I was able to pull a few of my men to Ms. Vera's um, apartment. Jia will discover a calabash with some of your pictures in it. Oh my God. Are you serious? Yeah. Your service pictures, your wedding pictures with your wife. Yeah. Are you kidding and me? And there is also a letter that she made with her signature on it saying, love us forever. Good morning. This is a public service announcement. The lady on the screen is Ms. Vera Eno and has been linked to the mother of Barrister Mrs. Helen Richard. All effort by the authorities to bring her to book has proven abortive as she is nowhere to be found. Anyone with useful information about her whereabouts should kindly call the number on the screen. Thank you.
Ah, David? Yes, yes, yes. And here's my colleague, Cliff. I'm better to do now. Okay. Yeah, um, someone placed a call from here regarding one Dera Ene. Am I right? Yes, okay. Call me, please. Oh, here? Yes. Please. She was brought in here some days ago with no ID by a good Samaritan who works in the hotel she was staying. With a note written, My beloved Richard, I will wait for you in the underworld by your soulmate Vera in her hands when she tried to commit suicide. Are you trying to say she's still alive? Yes, she is. She's alive. We popped her stomach immediately and flushed the pills out of her system and registered her as Jane Doe. But nobody seems to come look for her. Not until this morning when we saw the news and her picture and decided to call the numbers below. Well, um, that was so thoughtful of you and I must appreciate you on the step you've taken so far and making sure everything works perfectly well. Uh, thank you very much. God bless you. But then, I want you to do everything possible to keep her alive. Alright? She's a suspect on an ongoing murder investigation and you know what that means? We don't want to lose her. Please, just do everything you can. Whatever bill you want us to pay, we will pay. But just make sure she's fine. We need her. Please. That wouldn't be a problem. But we've done all we could. It's really left for her. It's either she fights and leaves, or she quits and dies. Well, let's not sound negative. I believe she'll be fine. Okay. She's going to be fine. One more thing. We want the security here so, so tight. Read my lips. So, so tight. No trespassing, no coming in, no nothing. Please. If you want me to talk to your nurses about that, I could do that, but just... That wouldn't be a problem. It will be handled. Okay, that sounds like more of a one here. So you're assuring me that everything will be handled? <sighs> Yes, hopefully she will be fine. Okay. What you say so? She will be fine. Okay. Remember what I said? No coming, no going out. That was your life, you don't have to.
Please reach out. So, there. Can you kindly tell us why you did what you did? <coughs> so, I did it for love. He wanted me to. Mom, what is the meaning of that? Who wanted to? Eh? I'm sorry, Mom, but I will say no more. Not without my Richard. No, you have to say something. Look, young lady. Do not play games with us. You don't know how much in trouble you are. I bet she doesn't know. You must tell us everything you did, here and now. Chief, please. She just woke up. Be calm. Look, my daughter. I am begging you in the name of God. Tell them everything they need to know. Maybe they might want to help you. They might want to have mercy on you. Eh? Hello. It is me. Who is me? It is me, Vera Ene, your love. Hi, Vera. How are you doing? How is your mom? We need to see. Why? What is wrong? We can talk on the phone. Should I call you back? No. I need to see you. I am in your town. Well, Vera, now is not a good time. Okay. Um, how long are you staying? Maybe I can see you first. You come next week. Yes. No, Richard, I am not going to be here for that long. I can even come to your office. I know where it is. That is not possible. Now listen to me. As I talk to you now, I'm on the business trip in the bathroom. Okay. I'll be back in two weeks time. I will call you by then, yes. Richard, I am asking you nicely. Please make out time for me. We need to see. Have a nice day. I'll be waiting for your call. Madam, what do I do? Well, I am not a madam, thanks to you. Not madam, but am I here to I believe you and I have a mutual friend called Richard. Do you mean my own Richard? I don't understand. My husband Richard. How do you know Richard? Well, he happens to be my Richard too. I'm his first wife. Excuse me? Yes. Richard and I got married. For real. We did. Okay, listen. Listen, lady. I don't have time for this. Yeah? I'm a very busy lady. I've got a lot of things to do. Okay, see, do you need money? Are you hungry? If you need money and you give someone to blackmail or anything, you've got the wrong lady. I don't have time for this, okay? You need to get off, okay? Excuse me, Helen. You should listen to me. Take your hands off me. Fine, I will. Do you know what? I am not a fraud star. And I am definitely not crazy. You know, Richard and I met during his youth service days and pursuing me. I mean, he loved us so much. And then, Somewhere along the line, he declared his intentions to marry me. And guess what? He, he proposed. 
Yes, he did. And towards the end of his youth service, he, he came to see my people and then we had a traditional marriage. And that was when the whole thing came up with him wanting to get a job from his uncle. And we left town. We lost contact and never saw him again. Really for me to hear he got married to some rich kid and left me. And here. This is the wind he gave me when we had our picture. You see? I'm not worried. Enough! Enough, enough! I cannot entertain this again. Listen to me. Listen very well. Richard and I are married, okay? You need to know that. And you need to stay the hell away from Richard and my family and me and everyone. I can't take this anymore. Okay? You, you better listen. stay away. You away. should listen I to me, Helen. I am not crazy. We got married. I'm, I'm his first wife. We didn't get married. Helen. I'm not crazy. We did get married, okay? We did get married. You have me here and you're crying. Stop. You can't believe everything you hear. Some people say it to bring you down. I mean, to scatter a sweet marriage God has given to you. You don't have to believe it. What am I supposed to do with that information? See, David, he never told me about her. That is because it's not necessary. Told him every single thing about my relationships. All my past relations, I told him about it. And he did the same thing too. So I'm actually shocked. Because he never told me about her. But Helen, I understand, but then that may be a lie. Okay, fine. What do you want to do now? Do you want to confront him? I'm confused. Our marriage is going through a lot of challenges now. We're barely holding ourselves up together. Like it's, it's already shattering. Something like this is gonna end it. Please tell I just don't know what do I do. Can you listen to your cousin? What I want you to do is do not give room for people coming in to bring your marriage. I mean that's a mistake people make. Stay put with your husband. Go home, be with him, act like nothing happened. Even though you want to ask him, there are ways to do so. You don't have to believe that. 100% I don't believe that. That he's married to her. It's not possible. Alright? Stop. Don't let me on this. Yeah. Love, are you, are you okay? Shut me. I didn't know you were coming. How was your trip? My trip was fine. You seem a million miles away. Are you sure you're okay? I'm okay. It's just I didn't know you were coming. I didn't see you coming. It's okay. Are you okay? You're, you're burning up. Are you sure you're okay? I'm mean, having light headed since then. Are you sure you'll be fine all by yourself until the doctor gets you? You can stay at home and take care of you. Mm -hmm. 
I'll be fine, okay? Besides, you need to get to the office to make a report about the trip. Yes, I will, but the company driver can always come around and the documents. I will, I will see them later. Mommy, you worry too much. I'll be fine, okay? Are you sure? Yes. Besides, the doctor will soon be here. I'll give you a call, okay? I'll give you a report and everything. Then Clara says she'll be coming over. Let's go through a case file. Okay. Tell me who you are. If you say so, no problem. She'll keep me company. <laughs> love, love. Alright, so I will see you later, okay? Love you too, baby. And make sure you call me. I will find. Right. You have a lovely, wonderful day, okay? Hi, right. love. Bad reception. Hello? 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 What is it? Hey, don't you know it's weekend? What do you want? You promised to call me back the last time when you get back from your trip, and you never did. And so, now listen to me. My wife is not feeling too well, okay? So, I've been trying to make our time to see you, but schedules are very tight. You, your, your wife? You, your wife? You're using your wife as an excuse. Now, what about me? What am I to you? Richard, hello? It's the mechanic. Oh. Yes. He called to tell me the car is ready. Are you serious? Yes. Is he in Japan? Yes, the the brake is back. Because I'm sorry I don't know. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, I think I'm Okay. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, okay? Why can't you look where you are going? My mind was somewhere else. I said I'm sorry, okay? I, I was just distracted by something. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. If you are sorry, if you are sorry, you wouldn't bump into me otherwise. Do you have to drag it this far? I just said I'm sorry. Is that not enough? I said, I said, I said, I told you I'm a bit confused. Please. I'm sorry for shouting at you. Man. So, you again? I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Mm -hmm. 
You seem friends. You seem our friends. Don't be offended. I feel guilty for shooting at you now. I'm sorry. Thanks. It's okay. I'm fine now. I'll, I'll be fine. Excuse me. Hi, how is you? Please, who is this? Um, my name is Calvin. And my friends call me KV Swag. Okay, Mr. Calvin, how may I help you? On the contrary, I was wondering how I can be of help to you. I don't understand. I'm confused. You had me alert to that in some market. You seem so sad and uh, unhappy. And I was wondering what could be making this beautiful woman unhappy. And I said to myself, Kev, call her and make her happy. I'm sorry, Mr. Kelvin. I think you've got the wrong number. Because I actually don't know you and I don't think you do. I'm sorry, I really don't need your help. So I'm cutting this call right now. No, 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 no. I have the right phone number. Your card fell from your hands, and I picked it up and would love to give it to your value. What do you think about that? Thanks once more. Thank you. But I'm not in serious need of a card. I actually don't need it that bad. You can keep it, okay? Okay then, have a meal with me. Sorry. I'm not hungry. What about drink? I don't drink. What about sex? You must be very, very stupid and silly. I actually think you're sick in the head. What do you take me for? I'm sorry, cuz. I had to make you come pick it up, see? Yeah, it's okay. It's sorry. Okay. I would have brought this to you, but work has been crazy lately. Terribly. Okay, it's okay. I understand. 
okay? And I really appreciate that at least you stepped in to help a brother in this case because I really need this case to go off ASAP. I've got a life. I have no choice. <laughs> Thank you. Your phone is ringing. Oh, it's not important. So, oh, yeah, that's it. That's the part I really need you to help me with. Oh, yes. You need to really go through this one. Very important. Okay. But uh, take your call. I mean. Seriously, it's not important. How do you know it's not important? It could be something really. David. Yeah. See, that's the number I've been telling you about. That idiot. He's been calling me. He calls me every night, every day. He's so irritating. I'm annoying. Like, if I, if I, like I don't know if I, I can actually break this guy's head. What do you expect? I mean, secret admirers can be really crazy. Mm -mm. Poor rat, more like it. Something like that. Please, um, don't let me try to hear what you just said. Seriously, this guy is going to put me in trouble. I'm not joking. He calls me morning, day, like all the time, 24 hours. Richard is beginning to suspect me. He's thinking I'm having an affair. Yeah, that's true. That would be bad. So bad. Anyway, just um, text me his number. I'll just um, tell him off. Okay. Thanks, Gus. Right. So, I. I pray it doesn't get to that because seriously, I'll be going nuts like crazy. I'm going nuts. I'm serious. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Go, Joe. <laughs> wanted her out of the way. I wanted her to have an affair with Kelvin so Richard would catch them in the act. Maybe that way he would have divorced her and married me but she wants me to Kelvin. She won't. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> what a long story. But then, we give God all the glory. At least for keeping you alive to finally, finally tell us the truth, how it happened. Hey! Oh. Oh. This is the doctor's report. He said you're well too strong to be discharged. So, Miss Vera, you are under arrest for the murder of Mrs. Helen Richard. You don't have to say nothing. Yes, whatever you say now will be used against you. No. Would you please stand, please? So, Justice can go back. Oh, be gone, be gone. Be gone. Woman, relax. Justice delayed is justice denied. Take it easy. Take it easy. Oh, be gone, be gone. Justice must prevail. Sorry.